I don't know, but... Now, you know what you need, Chantal? You need to get your butt out of the Middle East. You need to go back to Canada, and you need to start living a life that isn't just a big scam. I mean, this is silly. You're going to be 40 years old. You're out here, I mean, following some 29-year-old thinking that he's going to love you and marry you and make a life with you and whatever. Girl, come on. He laughs at you. He makes fun of you. I I mean, why do you think you're over there with him? Because you guys are living it up? I mean, yeah, you really look like you're living it up. You really look like you're happy. What you need to do is you need to go back to Canada. You need to start putting in hard work. And you need to, if a relationship is really what you want, if that's your end game in life, I know it is for some people. If that's really what you want, someone to love you, someone to call you baby, someone to give you affirmations, whatever. I mean, slow steps. I mean, whatever. Get on the dating apps. Work on yourself. Get back to a point where you can walk for more than a minute without getting dizzy. I mean, that would, if I were that in that place, that would be my number one priority. Not who's going to call me baby when I put my head down at night. I mean, girl, come on. I mean, you're not going to be able to heal in this ev- environment, let alone thrive. You're talking about energy. You're sitting here telling us how you're about to fall asleep. So you're getting help and. You want to dunk on Chantel? And that's why I think Shannon and FFG's chemistry is so beautiful because they're so similar. FFG has to be the hero. That's why she has to always dunk on Chantel with something. Like when she did the thing with F- uh, BBJ, I stand on this. She did her big one. She did her big one with that one, especially with the way Chantel was running her mouth talking about FFG's dogs. And all. when I saw her pull that off, I said, Leave it to Chantel to have me applaud FFG. I was pissed. I was like, this was so good. She trolled the fuck out of you. Oh, my God. So just so we're clear, and you heard it here first. What happened with BBJ, rescuing BBJ? The BBJ rescue um, to FFG will be with um, the 89 LBs are to Amber you will always hear about it for years to come. Always. That's never going to die. She did her big one. She had to make it public. And for those saying, oh, it was for the money. I think you guys forget, I've said this before, multiple things can be right at once. She did her big one and definitely helped DBJ because at this point, I think almost anybody's better than Chantel. But yes, of course it was for the money. If it wasn't for the money, she would have. she wouldn't have made it public. Of course it was for the money. Are you kidding? The bitch held a whole, she shopped for BBJ's collar on stream. She shopped for a cat to get a Gucci collar for a cat. Of course it was for money. But I'm not going to take away the fact that like at least she got BBJ. But yes, it was for money. Yes, it was for content. Are you crazy? That is her 89 LBs, bitch. She is never letting that go. That will always be content in some way. Isms. So, uh, French Fried Girls should be worried because Chantal was threatening to sue again. Uh, shadowed that she might have returned to Canada to handle some other business, and she would handle that while she was there. Um, I would be terrified if I was French Fried Girl. So terrified. This is the woman who couldn't even make a vet appointment, and she's going to coordinate a multi-person lawsuit because she felt duped about her cat being given to somebody else by her to somebody else um but she couldn't tell you who because the selfish bitch wouldn't even walk down the stairs to go say bye she handed it to pete's again many reasons we can't follow through with our commitments so um and chantal doesn't have much tolerance for distress or discomfort if something isn't exactly the way she wants to eat it she's not going to eat it if it's not the right temperature she's not going to eat it um so you would think someone as large as her would be much more picky but, uh, or be much less picky. But actually, some of the more morbidly obese people I know are rather picky about their food. And, like other folks who deal with addiction, uh, can get pretty nasty if they don't get what they want. How many people think that they've probably fought about food a couple times already? I'm sure he was fine with her coming over, but she probably, she farted out a bunch of promises initially that she was going to, oh, I'm going to go to the gym and lose weight and it'll be great and I'll be going to the beach and we'll be travel-beezing. If you're too fat for a plane, you got to do something. 
because now you can't even get out of there in a hurry if you need to. Um, there's no shame in buying two plain seats if you need them, but if you don't like that you need them or that you're cutting it close to needing them, whose job is it to change the shape of Chantal's body? Yours? Mine? A pill? Some Ozempic? No, it comes down to Chantal and what she chooses to do. At this point, she's had more resources and opportunities and access to treatment over the years that most people don't give a shit how she feels or that she probably can't handle all of her ADLs maybe on her own because she was always such a nasty, self-centered person that her discomfort brings people pleasure. We've heard of schadenfreude. You know, it's the same sort of thing. I don't So we saw some boats pass by while we were hanging out by the riverside and decided after we were done hanging out by the river to see if we could find a dock and take a boat ride ourselves. On our way- It was his hard earned money to try to buy her food that would support her health. And then either she ordered it without him or he came to reason of, look, I don't love you so much that $250 isn't worth risking your health to me. So if you really love me, Chantal, really, really love me, you'll go on there, eat yourself half to death, and give me the cash. So, I don't know. So and she wants privacy. Okay. And uh, where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? He's out with the boys. Thailand, from what I understand, has a very, very active sex scene. So, um, I'm sure he'll text you. But at any rate, this week we're going to... But she's sitting there, not a lot of people around, but it was the old eyes darting. Remember the outhouse? Or going for Burger King and then sitting in the parking lot, full face of makeup, looking all over the place to see who's looking and who's watching. She's out proud and doesn't care, but hawks like she's ashamed of what she's engaging in. So when she's sitting there with Sala eating, and there's people, you know, not a lot of people, because they go everywhere when it's closed. She's afraid of people, and they want to be able to film, and they're weird. They're weird. She likes getting attention, but standing out doesn't really... Like, I think she probably feels like people are staring, because they are staring. It's a spectacle. She's four times the size of a normal woman. So I think people are going to stare. That's, that shouldn't be unexpected. Is it rude? Is it cruel? I don't know. Bottom line, it shouldn't be unexpected. And to act shocked would be kind of stupid as well. Please look better after yourself. Take better care of yourself. If not you, for your husband that you told us you loved so much, how much do you love him if you're willing to eat yourself to death? Because it's too difficult to try to get better. Beyond 36 hours. I'm not a 12-stepper, but the bondage of self. She's so obsessed with meeting her own wants and needs that she, to her inadvertently, steps on people and hurts people in that way. There's another side of Chantal that is a complete sociopath and pretty much doesn't care about feelings, doesn't know how to act. That's why we had the, the wedding cake and candles and she erupted like she was going to shit her pants because she doesn't know what happiness feels like so she doesn't demonstrate what it looks like. She doesn't know love. She doesn't know any of those feelings. And so with all this spinning in her head, her marriage on the line, her citizenship being up, she goes on a diet. One, I'm pretty, okay? That has a lot and I don't mean that to be conceited. I'm being very matter of fact. Being pretty gets you a lot of privilege. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you can get away with a lot if you're pretty. Number one, I'm pretty. It's because I've been watching this amazing trailer, okay, written by Sam H. Freeman and Nung Chung Ping, and they've done a British short film. They did it in 2021, and it was called Femme. So it became a success and they decided to invest more money and more time into making a longer version of this film 
called Femme. Now, the original version was 2021. It won a British um, Shaw Award um, from the um, British Independent Film Awards. And it became a huge hit. So they made a longer version of it. And I haven't seen the short film. And I'm trying to find the, t- the short film. But um, I've they've released the trailer for the new longer feature length version of Femme that they've done. So the how you why YouTube recommended this to me, I don't know. But they did, and I've been watching this trailer non-stop. So if copyright, if they'll allow me um, to put the trailer in, I will show you this trailer that I am seriously obsessed with. Sorry, guys, I forgot to add trigger warning, um, LGBTQ themes and homophobic violence. <laughs> well, you can turn around if you're a fucking man. You're letting them win. How you want to deal with that? I think you're a nice looking lad. On your front. I'm a nice guy. If you disrespect me, fuck you up. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same. Oh, yeah, man. You're a fucking big man. I best remember not to fuck with you then. So, this film features Nathan Stewart Jarrett from um, Candyman and Misfits and George Mackay. Now, I haven't seen George in anything, but he has been in um, 1917. After research, guys, he's been in 1917, um, When Hands Touch, Wolf and I Came By. I haven't seen any of those films, but I will watch uh, this George Mackay in Femme because this film looks awesome and it's a kind of a genre that hasn't been covered um, in an LGBTQ world. So this film looks amazing and I will be doing video after video after video of this film Femme when it finally comes out in December. So please stay tuned. Huggers, I just need to quickly add that concerning Femme, like Femme is released in Europe on December the 1st, right? It's it's released in some places earlier. So like in Spain and in um, Europe and places like that, it's released in December. Okay, and then... So I'll be watching it in December. For people that are in the States, um, it is Fem is going to be released March the 22nd. I just wanted to put that in there. So there's a good few months. If you're in the States, there's a good few months before Fem is released in your cinemas. Hi guys, and welcome to Taylor Talk. So today, this is just going to be a really, really super, super quick video. I'm featuring this lady here called Mary Does It. Um, she is a morbidly obese woman that's starting out on YouTube. She says that she's got a, she's already established. I, I don't know what she does, but I'm going to, I'm going to Google her. But um, I, I don't know what her full name is. I only just saw her on my recommended. So if you recognize this lady, you know, is she on reality tv is she a tv presenter um has she been on survivor or something if if you recognize her let me know because she keeps on she's like hi fans and it's like where where is mary from is she is she famous so um this is going to be a super quick video and i'm going to be covering her plus size um atv being in Cabo, um, you know, in Cabo, San Lucas, Mexico. So we're going to take a look at um, Mary Does It and take a look at uh, one of her, her second video. Um, she's super popular with already um, 903 subscribers. So 
so and i've already seen the plus size travel um haul so that's why i'm not reviewing that one okay so let's take a look so guys this is mary she's absolutely stunning she's she's really really pretty Today, we are doing something that I have wanted to do for a very long time, and I'm so excited, but I'm also very nervous. We're riding ATVs. Oh, wow. Wow. That's more than Amber's ever done. Shuttle is almost here. I gotta meet them at the front gate of this complex I'm in, so we're gonna walk over there. I wonder how much she weighs. Guys, if you know who this Mary is, Mary does it. it how much does she weigh and how tall is she let, let me know in the comments and let's get this day going okay she's so she's on holiday in Mexico at least she's walking by herself wow oh my god at least she's getting on it Oh my god, she got on it. Maybe she asked for like a special van. Alright, we're in the shuttle and we're headed off to the adventure park. I'm not sure wow. exactly. Sorry guys, I'm just taking a look at this again. You know what, good for her. off to the adventure park i'm not sure exactly how long of a drive it is i think it's about half an hour but i will see you when we get there at least she's on holiday having a good time is, is that her husband or boyfriend Good for you having a face mask. Shows that you're conscientious. She seems fun, guys. Maybe I'm just like very hyped on her because she's very pretty. Anne Boleyn, this girl's giving you a one for your for your money and your face card. Oh my god, is she going to get on? Oh my god, she's going to have trouble. Oh god. Oh, does not, is somebody going to help her? She needs help. Oh god, she got on. Did somebody help her on? Because this was edited. A clip was taken out. Look. And then, and then there was a cut. Okay, I wonder what the weight limit is on these things. Who's she with? Family? Friends? Wow, this looks like so much fun. Wow. Why don't Foodie and Sella try this? Because they had the Doom Buggy, but they were so broke, they just had one Doom Buggy to themselves. Wow, this looks awesome. In two minutes, this has been more exciting than all of Foodie's videos this week combined. This week, this is more exciting. The weather looks so beautiful here. 
Okay, this is the halfway point. This is actually... She reminds me a little bit of um, Lara Croft. You know what I mean? a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, turning was a little difficult. I think I maxed out the vehicle, so my tires are like super, super smushed. But look at this view. That looks lovely. I feel like I'm on top of the world here. It looks beautiful. <laughs> it's so fun. Highly recommend it, 10 out of 10. But you have to be brave. <laughs> you have to be brave to do this. That looks awesome. Well done. Uh, well done, Mary. Oh, wow. She, at least, she looks like she's having a great time. And that's what travel is about, really. And it's back down. Back down, it looks so cool. I'll have to look up where where in Cabo, San Lucas. And is it like a mountain? The skies look so lovely. The beach, like a beautiful exotic beach. Way better than the ones that Foodie has been showing us in Kuwait. The one that she lives across from. See, foodie, this this is what it looks like when there's a when there's a plus size vlogger that's genuinely active, not just huffing and puffing to the beach across the road and back. This is real. This is a real travel vlog. It's a gorgeous beach. You just want to like fly into the screen and experience what she is. What a beautiful beach. Again, more beautiful than any beach that Foodie has shown us in Kuwait. I wonder why. Getting on is so much easier than getting off. That was really, really fun. Oh my gosh, I definitely got better at it as we went and felt more confident going faster. I loved it. Okay, I sweat all of my makeup off, but I got my hand. Still, still pretty. Handy dandy travel fan. It's keeping me cool. Hanging out here. Gonna have to... I mean, like Foodie, she has a fan, but unlike Foodie, Mary actually does stuff. <laughs> Mary actually goes out. She goes on ATV rides. She has fun. She goes walking on the beach. Like, she, Mary actually needs a fan. Whereas Foodie just needs a fan sitting down in the house, you know? Um, drink some shots of tequila, and then they're gonna take me back to the Airbnb. This is so much fun. At least it's located in central Mexico. So it takes a, a little bit of time for this product to arrive. So that's why every every drop, I try to enjoy it as much as I can. Guys, thank you very much for your time. Have a very good one and I hope to see you down here again. Yeah. So, uh... Okay, so I'll read this. I had so much fun on this adventure. The company I went through was fantastic. Check the description of this video for their deets. Here are a few pictures. They're ha in the house. Here are a few pictures their in house photography team took. These cost a bit extra, but are totally worth it. 
in my opinion. All right, more bitches. This looks amazing. That beach is so beautiful, honestly. At least she's going out and doing things. As cute as anything, guys, isn't she? She looks abs she's gorgeous. She's absolutely stunning. She's one of the most stunning girls in girl world right now. I, d I doubt that she's a, a lol cow, but um, she at least she goes out and does stuff. Um, the video was very well made, very well edited. It just, it you know, it's it's not um, pushing it to eight minutes, so it so that she can squeeze a whole bunch of ads. Foodie, take note. Sometimes you kind of have a six or seven minute video. Um, you know, it doesn't always have to be ads all the time. But then again, foodie, I get you're broke. But, you know, sometimes less is more. Um, so I'm going to be following Mary Does It, depending on the videos that she puts out. I thought this one was excellent. She seems like a super nice, um, super fun, um, you know, free spirited girl. So I don't know anything about her, guys. So if you know who she is or you recognize her from somewhere, let, let me know who she is and what she does for a living. If she's famous, how she got famous. Let me know in the comments. I liked this video. I'm going to I'm going to follow her and follow her journey. OK, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, thank you for watching. Um, thanks for listening. This was a short one. Which is good for me because I talk way too much. So if you're at the end, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. See you in the next one.